Farmers from across the province rallied on the steps of the legislature again this week to show their opposition to Bill 6. Wild Rose and Progressive Conservative MLAs joined together to brave the cold to support the farmers and ranchers who gathered to show their government that they just won't roll over now that Bill 6 has passed final reading. Bill 6 is the NDP legislation that requires Alberta farms and ranches and greenhouses to follow occupational health and safety standards and purchase WCB insurance for their paid employees. It also allows farm workers to unionize. The farmers are clear. They aren't against safety. They're against the lack of consultation they were given on this unnecessary bill. Our civil rights, I feel, have been abused and uh the government needs to start listening to the people. 50 some phone calls to OHS, probably 20 to WCB, no answers, no answers from my MLA. They're uh, not listening to the farmers and the farmers are the one that built this land. Whether people believe it or not, we're all going to be affected. It's not just the farmers, it's not just the oil and gas, it's going to be everybody in the end. And make no mistake, greenhouses are going to be very hard hit. With a carbon tax coming at them, and now added labor expenses, it's going to be harder and harder for our local producers to compete with Mexican or California vegetables, where labor costs are lower and heating costs are rarely incurred at all. Tuesday morning, in the falling snow, according to the on-site sign-up sheet, 700 people took to the legislature grounds over the course of the rally. Now the rally started off with the anthem, listen. There were some speeches from Wild Rose and PC MLAs. Wild Rose MLA Rick Strankman stressed the importance of continuing to be peaceful and respectful. Here. And I appreciate your comments about being respectful uh, in your demonstrations. It's openly on, uh, honorable, and uh, I'm getting to be on a first name basis with these sheriffs. I've got a first name basis with other sheriffs at the Customs and Border a long time ago, and it all worked out good. And PCMLA Richard Gottfried said some kind compliments to rural Alberta. Here. This province was built on a few things. One of those is pioneer spirit. And where does that come from? Alberta farmers and ranchers. Where did our prairie work ethic come from? Farmers and ranchers of this province. And where did our original entrepreneurial spirit come from? From the farmers and ranchers of this province. I spoke to Wild Rose MLA Leela Ahir as she walked amongst the rally goers. Here. I am here to support the farmers and ranchers of Alberta and I'm here to support the farmers and ranchers and everybody, all Albertans in my constituency. I'm so honoured to be surrounded by families and people who are committed to the family farm. At the end of the rally, I spoke to Dana Brown. He was the MC that day and I've met him at several rallies and town halls. He works in oil and gas too. Listen. I'm here for a responsible government. I'm here for government that listens to people and uh, I, I'm not on a political stripe about this. I'm here for better governance. Now Bill 6 attacks farms. They're the most independent and entrepreneurial sector of Alberta and the NDP want them under the thumb of the bureaucracy. And that's really what this is all about, isn't it? Government control of those free-thinking rural conservatives. Even if it means forcing them into a government system, Rachel Notley has herself called broken and miserly. Listen. Because we have the worst health and safety laws in the country, and those are then combined with having the most miserly workers' compensation board in the country. The NDP think those pesky rural conservatives needed the boot of the government on their neck. But farmers and ranchers aren't going to lay down easily. They promise to keep holding rallies and town halls because they say they won't allow this bad law to give the government a blank slate to control their lives. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed.